was a little bit of a different intro, but what's up everybody? It's Mike with Alpha Reptile, and I'm back today with a reptile room tour for April. Now, April is my favorite month because it is my birthday month, the 26th of April, in case you guys are wondering, as well as my girlfriends. At the end of this month, I'll be turning 22, so for those of you that wonder how old I am, there you go. I'm not going to blabber too much about this. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, purchase some t-shirts that I make, not this one, I wish I made this one. Oh, it's so nice. Um, then you guys can click the links in the description as well as there should be something on screen, hopefully. If there's no link on screen right now, you guys can always click the show more tab in the description and it will reveal all those links for you. So, with that being said, uh, I actually have to go to work pretty soon here, so this is going to be a little bit of a... Nothing has really changed a lot, uh, except for Striker's new tank, which, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you click up here, I think. But enough of my blabbling, let's get into Striker's new tank and show you guys that. So this is Striker's new tank. As you guys can see, I'm still getting the temperatures accurate, and I still actually have to move it in place before I put Striker in here, but... But it has been about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. As you can tell, there is quite a lot of condensation on the sides here. So I might need to add some sort of fan or something like that just to control the humidity in here. Uh, it's only about 35% though, which is kind of strange as to why it's condensing up there. Or it's 35% in his uh, hot hide down there. But as you can tell, uh, some of the plants made it, some of them haven't. That's kind of the way things are going to go with this. Uh, I don't see any isopods other than this guy and it looks like he croaked. So hopefully some of his uh, brethren are still up and at them. Overall this tank looks incredible. I'm super happy with Stryker's new tank. Obviously Stryker isn't in here just yet. I just need to work out the temperatures and the humidity and then he'll be moving in here. You guys can expect a video of that hopefully later in April if not early May. I guess because we're talking about him, well he's actually not out right now. But he's doing fine. Striker, I just fed him last night, so he's probably a, a little scaredy cat right now hiding in his hide over there, just soaking up some warmth and uh, relaxing. As you can tell, his new tag is much nicer than his old tank. In here, we have Dixon, the Europlatus Guntheri. Still working on finding some females in Europe. So if you're from Europe, and you know of some female Gunthry for sale, make sure you shoot me a message or comment down below. I uh, am looking desperately for one because, or two, honestly, a few would be great. But uh, his tank's doing really well. The plants are all growing in really nice. He's doing fantastic. Um, I haven't mentioned it, but there was one night where I left the cage open. That's why I actually don't like these um, freaking Zoomed tanks I left it like this and you're like oh that's definitely closed but then you go to the side and it's not um, so that's one thing to pay attention to now I always when I close it I always pull it just to make sure but Dixon doing really well I actually did add back the UVB that is a UVB bulb in there um, it's one of the like exoterra turtle ones um, I don't have a UVB meter anymore so I'm gonna need to purchase one of those but they're like 400 bucks and uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's not quite in the budget at the moment, but I hope to get one very soon. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Sky here, the Meraki Blue Tongue Skink. Um, as you can tell, he's just straight chilling. And he's looking fine. Girl. Here. This tank is still impossible to open. My buddy said that his new tank will be coming very soon. Uh, he said he's going to try and finish it this week. So uh, I'm really excited for that because there are, like in the back corner, you can just start to see a little bit of discoloration. Whether that's full-blown mold or anything, I don't think so. But uh, I would like to get rid of that and have a sealed tank. Can we see that beautiful blue tongue? There you go. How are you? How are you, mister? Can you show us your blue tongue? There you go. Come on. Yeah. Look at that. These guys are so cool. A little bit more skittish than your bearded dragons and stuff, but I think they are just incredible creatures, and I think everybody should have one. 
if you have a bearded dragon, you should definitely have a blue tongue skink. More expensive, so that's kind of prohibitive, but uh, definitely really cool creatures. From there, we can move on to Bowser. Bowser's doing really, really well. Right, buddy? I think he thinks he, well, right now he doesn't think he's going to be fed, but what's up, dude? Whoa. Oh, yeah. You're ready to go, hey? It's super bright and super hot in there. But uh, he's doing really well. Very active. Um, typical red Aki monitor, Varanus Acanthurus. I increased the humidity in his tank, so his sheds are actually coming off a lot easier now. He's still got the Arcadia 14% UVB. He's still, well, as you can see, his water dish hasn't been uh, cleaned in a while. It has been replaced, so don't freak out about that. But you can see he's doing really well. Um, his basking spot is about 140, and... Uh, the ambient in his tank is about 85 to 90, I believe. Actually, we can check that. There you go, 85. <laughs> I was right. And then his basking spot is about 140. That's what monitors like. Uh, nice hot basking spot. There's a monitor at work that I really, really want to get. It's a Varanus Melinus or a Quince monitor, but I think they just get a little bit too big for what I'm currently uh, working with, if that makes sense. We're gonna move on to Sheldon, and while I was looking for fruit fly media, I found his scale. So, it's the moment of truth, little man. Oh, it is the moment of truth. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. Ta -da! You don't even fit in here. There you go. 629. So I think the last time I weighed him, that's about what he was. Um, he really isn't growing too much, uh, which is normal. Like, that's pretty much adult Herman's tortoise size. His tank's doing really well. I'm not going to spend too much time on him because <laughs> nothing's really changed that much. Uh, I added a couple plants in there. I added some geraniums and stuff, but as we all know, he is the destroyer and he ate them all. So <sighs> I just... You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you have to deal with Sheldon. Honestly, you guys, if you guys can afford a tortoise, uh, well, in Canada, they're super, super expensive. Like, in Canada, he costs about $450 all the way to $600. That's what we sell Herman's tortoises for at the place that I work. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's wild, honestly. But they're so rewarding, they're so cool, and uh, they live a long time, so if you're going to get one, get one soon. <laughs> Moving away from the Shellman, we can go to the land whales. So whenever I feed these guys Pangea, they just gorge themselves. And they all become little balloons. Like, look at that! Oh my goodness. I literally can't even. These guys are ridiculous. Um, hopefully pretty soon I'll start working on their new tank, but it is final season, so uh, it probably won't be done till pretty much after I get back from Belize, which will be like the end of May. All four are still in here. All four are still doing good. There is a little bit of aggression. Uh, I'm not like frantic. There's no missing tails. There's no missing limbs, but you can definitely tell um, the odd one has a couple nicks in the skin and that kind of stuff. So uh, would I recommend it to other people? No, but uh, for right now, this uh, group living situation with the Laticata, Felsuma Laticata, is working. Now we can move on to Tigo. Tigo is doing pretty good. Um, I can't open her cage all the way because Striker's cage is there. But uh, she actually started to develop some eggs. I think she's down here. I'm sore. Oh. Yeah, you guys can see her hand there, but uh, she's huge. She definitely has a couple eggs developing inside her, and it is nuts how big she is. I actually had this little lay box in there, but she never used it. I don't know if it's just the wrong consistency, or if she's just going to um, either reabsorb the eggs or lay in the current soil that she has, but... Uh, her tank's doing really well. As you can tell, these, whoops, sorry, super bright. But as you can tell, these snake plants grow way too tall for this cage. 
However, they are kind of adapting and it kind of looks interesting with it folding over at the top like that. Uh, much more natural than cutting them at the top. I think that looks a little silly, but this looks fine. But that's TIG. Uh, and this vivarium here, there's nothing in it other than plants. So I'm not going to bore you guys with that. And this one over here, we have the... Um, Dendrobates, Aratus, Turquoise, and Bronze. And as you guys can tell, this tank is just growing insane. Um, this... I really need to write down the name on the tank or something of this plant, but every time I cut it, it shoots up like three or four new little offshoots, and it's growing mad. Uh, of course, the Strawberry Begonia is doing really well. The moss is coming in nice and lush. Um, this is actually sphagnum moss right up the front here. Right there is sphagnum moss. Uh, of course, there's not a frog in sight, but this tank just looks awesome to look at. So, yeah, I, I can't complain too much about it. <laughs> and, actually, I know I posted it on Instagram, but these guys actually had their first tadpole since I've got them. It's been like two or three years, but this is their tadpole in here. Where are you, little dude? Hello, friend? There he is. Crap. Yeah, so he's doing really well. Uh, I don't see why he wouldn't make it to Morphing Out, but um, yeah, I I'm super happy with uh, the little tadpole over there. In here, as you guys know, we have the Ufaga Pumilio Almarente. You can see one right there. The little guy. Girl, actually. Besides that little guy on the log, we actually have some down there as well. See those guys down there? That's a I think two females. But um, this tank is not doing terrible. It's not doing great. Um, I really can't blame... The lights aren't the best, so the bromeliads are staying alive, but they're not really turning any crazy colors. That's okay, though. And then up here, I'll just do it real quick. We have the Dendrobates Tinctorius Azurius. Uh, are you guys back there? Pretty sure that's one down there. I might change the light on this and then just keep it the same. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are getting upgrades, and I'm pretty excited for it. Last but not least, in the reptile genre, we have Mr. Baney Boy. As you guys know, uh, he is in his new tank. It's a 24 by 18 by 24 Exoterra. Um, I didn't make a tutorial or anything on this one. I just wanted to get it done, and I did it. So, uh, I think it turned out really well. I'm going to stick you guys in here and see if you guys can see them. Bane. Hello. Uh, I don't think you guys can see them. Um, well, I couldn't at least, so. Sounds like he's making noises, though. But, I mean, as exciting as it gets, that's Bane. Oh, yeah. Can you guys hear that? You guys can hear him. And last but not least, the fish tank. In the comment section, leave if you want a full tank update. I'm gonna do one anyways, but I just like to gauge your guys' reaction. This is the tank. It's so green on camera, it's ridiculous. But, yeah, the, that's the tank. There's some shrimps. There's some runny nose rasboras. There's five auto cats. There is some emerald rasboras. And I used to have killifish, but uh, I think they all croaked, unfortunately. Anyways, you guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like down below. Leave a comment uh, with video suggestions or what your favorite animal is or both, preferably. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you click that subscribe button. 
and click the notification bell. There's been stuff going on with YouTube that is, they're not sending it to people that don't click the notification bell. So please, if you can, just click the notification bell and you'll get notified every time I go live or post a video. Live streams will hopefully be pretty much every Sunday, depending if I have an assignment or anything due on Monday. But hopefully this Sunday there will be one and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, Mike and the rest of the uh, Phoenix crew here. Later guys, have a good one and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.